when we started to look for preschools and synagogues, we, we talked about what type of education and, and preschool we wanted and I think one of the things was that it was connected to a synagogue. When we first came here, I just remember asking one question, how they disciplined the children here. I just remember her answer was amazing to me and I even get the chills just talking about it because she said, oh, we don't, we don't find the need to discipline the children here. This is their place. They rarely misbehave here because everything is for them. I really liked that. And we found that to be absolutely true. I did not want to go in. I did not want to leave mom. And then the teachers came along and were like, Hannah, like, look at this. Isn't this so cool? And then I got interested. And um, I just remember mom leaving and I was like, I don't care anymore. I'm like, I'm having so much fun. So starting in um, kindergarten, they started at the Hebrew school. They go to public school, so we wanted to continue the, the Jewish education. And they've been in Hebrew school ever since. About three years before I knew I was gonna have a bar mitzvah, they gave me like a date. January 30th, 2021, about six months ago. I started with Canner Jack. Now I'm doing another thing with Canner Paul. Uh, he's teaching me different prayer skills and trying to get me to that Friday service that I'll be leading, hopefully. So, so they continue to do it virtually and it doesn't seem like he's missed a beat. Solomon just finished with the pre-K at the ECC and he had a nice graduation ceremony because of this situation with the coronavirus. We actually did it in the parking lot at a safe distance and he had his little cap and gown, a little tassel, and he graduated. It was fun, and I loved it. I loved it, and I think it's a great school. When Solomon walks in, he, and he feels like it's his place, and it's all their places still, more so his because he's been here physically on a daily basis, but then the other kids come in for Hebrew school, and we come in for services, and they just feel like it's their second home. We're just comfortable when we come here, and the kids, you know, disperse, and go to their various activities or run to their teachers or run to their friends. I don't have to see them or know, I know that they're safe, I know that they're taken care of, and I know that they're, they're with our family. It's important to us, and, and B'nai Torah has always encouraged it, that you know, through the generations, we continue our traditions and continue our holidays and our celebrations as Jewish people. B'nai Torah has given us a way to bring our Judaism into our home.